Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Raven Clan Conquest. Uh, we're finally getting a bit rolling. Obviously the last mission made it easier for us because there were so many shores. Um, we've got two fun missions ahead of us, Battle for Midgard and Minopoly. Uh, Minopoly gives us the lovely bonus that we can upgrade two food buildings for free, which is just an insanely strong bonus. Uh, we're definitely gonna go and get this one. That's so good. Uh, alternatively, Battle for Midgard is just a fun mission, uh, so I definitely want to play this one as well. Uh, I wonder if we need the free food upgrade for this one, so uh, I'm gonna play Battle for Midgard first and then we're going for uh, Minopoly. Uh, Battle for Midgard also usually doesn't take so long, so uh, let's just grab the, another free weapon upgrade for our Warchief, basically. And it's a bit of a different mission. Uh, there's no clans, which is good for us, because uh, we can scout everything using our scouts. Can make a dock, but we won't need one. Uh, we're gonna go for rangers into Monster Slayer, I'm pretty sure. Potentially we take journeymen, but honestly we don't really need it. And I'd rather have some army out faster. Obviously the free uh, food upgrade is also good here, but we don't need it. We really don't need it. We're gonna have empty tiles all around us. Let's see, there's our farmland. I'm gonna colonize the farmland first, and then the rune zone. I mean, we can take both. Okay, our main objective is finding um, finding the gates. We need to close four gates. And uh, yeah, we'll, oh yeah, we need to build this house. Almost forgot. Starting with the farm always feels great. I forgot the house a bit. It's okay. Uh, we can build a lore, a woodcutter here. You scout uh, the rune stone so we get lore. And usually on this map, there's also not too many wolves and foxes and stuff. Uh, don't be afraid of this one. The neutrals that come here, you can just kite them around using a villager and shoot them with your extras, at least if it's the fire spawn first, which I think is always the first one, I'm not 100% sure. Nice, there's a ruin. Don't quite have enough to colonize there. We need iron for our war chief. We need gold for our war chief. Nice, another ruin and next to the iron, that's actually much better for us. I'm not sure if you can make a tower there. I think it would be too easy if you could. Our economy as per usual is not the strongest. Mostly due to having two scouts all early game long. But I don't really see the benefit of bringing them home either. We just keep scouting and getting all the lore. Nice, yeah, I don't think there's any neutrals next to us. It would make this mission a lot harder if there were neutrals, because so like this, the mission is too easy. So I for one support the idea to have all the tiles with wolves and foxes and stuff, so you can't just uh, rush right through the portals and kill them all. But it is how the mission is, so that's fine by me. Ooh. Double lore stone with the sheepy in it. 
tempting, tempting, but we need the iron, like I said. Also, I want the ruin next to the iron. It's almost gonna pay for itself, this tile. 42 gold, excellent. Thank you. Scouting in a circle like this is not the best, but whatever. Oh, another ruin. Cool. Uh, we're gonna colonize that one next, because again, they pay for themselves. Sheep can go to our base. I'm gonna make another food building. Rangers is gonna help. Ooh, Mimi is pretty nice. Uh, we're probably not gonna need that. Uh, after the hunter, we want a house, we want another woodcutter, we want a lot of things. We want the markets for gold, we want that iron mine. It's a lot of things we need. Okay, this is good. That means we're close to the actual portal. Do we get the house before the woodcutter to keep growing? I think so. Almost making a woodcutter instead. Okay, let's get this one. We don't really have to scout the realms, they scout themselves. Uh, these portals. This means that there's a second portal down here. Because the fire portal is different than the portal with these uh, Draugr. There we go, that paid for itself. Let's get the other ruin. And I think even in, before the woodcutter, it would be good to get... Now nah, we need the extra wood income. We'll get the iron afterwards. Also didn't forget that we still need a market, of course. Sheep there. Oh, nice. I mean, that I am going to colonize, because once again, that's going to pay for itself. I also want to get another hunter. I need to get gold income soon. There was the bonus uh, on offer that you get double the resources from the ruins, which would have been fun in this one. Okay, do we get another hunter? No, let's get let's get towards the Warchief. We need to be able to defend the portal once we get attacked there. Nice another farmland. Can't really see much in the dark, but I'm assuming the first portal is up here. Grab this one. Yeah, we don't need to forget that we also need the army camp, otherwise we can't get the war chief, of course. Okay, spread these out a bit, gear upgrade. How come we got so much fame? Ah, because we're colonizing so much, of course. Okay, we need the extra camp. That's pretty much all we need to win the mission, honestly.
with three sheep we'll easily make it through the winter. I forgot to take this one. Okay, gate is opening, that's why I made the war chief. And it scouted it for us. That's why I didn't want to scout there. Another double food tile here. I think as long as we get the war chief in time, we should be good. Looks like we're good to go. Cool, this is useful. In case we colonize all the way up there, which is not necessarily what we'll do. Uh, getting the forge would be good. Uh, but we need the gold for the watch chief right now. Oh, no, wrong building. Oops, I wanted another hunter. Okay, the, the food is really not going to be an issue because of the sheep. This one is not paying for itself anymore, it's too far. Uh huh, healing fountain. We're gonna scout everything for massive value from uh, journeyman. And with this ruin, we can finally get the war chief. I will do it before I <laughs> spend the money on some other useless things. It's really the only thing you need to worry about is defending this portal here. But yeah, the first gate that glows is usually the Gate of Muspo. And the Gate of Muspo is the easiest to kill because they are super slow, these Eltors. So I uh, really don't have so much to worry about in this one. Uh, let's just make a house over here, it doesn't really matter. Well, for fun, I'll make it in the Fertitile. Okay, let's uh, scout the corner first, and then let's loop around this way, I think. Cool, that is going to pay for itself, so we will colonize there next. Going to slaughter sheep, and it's already the next year. Might have to make an extra also to help our watchief out, so let's do that. Overall, this is working out extremely well. Okay, as long as we don't panic. There is the giant that's gonna come for our... Well, it's not gonna come for us, it's gonna come for the Yggdrasil. We can go shoot it a bit with the extra on the way. I said I was gonna loop this way around, so let's do that. The scout will stay here on this side. How much do we need? 87. Yeah, that's gonna be a while. Um, wait, is he going for my extra or I'm not 100% sure, no, he's just going to run f straight for the objective, of course. Uh, this I made to get the weapons. Okay, so as long as we don't fuck up the micro here, which is really hard, like I said, like they're super slow. You don't really have to worry about this first attack. You just kite it around. Do we even bother with this last iron? Yes, let's do it. Okay, not ideal, but whatever. Okay, we're just gonna keep doing this. Increase our gold income. I think the triple food building actually was a good choice. Since we had so much time, that is. Of course, in this mission, we don't have to worry about 
fox attacks and wolf attacks and only that kind of makes it all possible in the first place. Scout can move up here. Hey, stop that. Now he has the double attack. Okay, let's get the upgrades for our war chief. We're gonna need them in a bit. Still have a sheep we can slaughter in case we starve, which I don't think is gonna be an issue. Oh, there's animals up here. That means the next gate will be up here as well. And on these giants, we're just gonna use the exact same strategy. Yep. That is the next gate, like anticipated. Oh, let them um, focus this one, please. Get more combat strength. I think I will just go Freya's Blessing, make it slightly easier for us. bit annoying. I wonder if we should just tank them with the war chief and fight them. But I think we need the HP for the other The other gates, they're not going to be as easy as this one. Okay, good job, you're scouting the right one already. Wonder what the other scout is doing. Okay, it's fine. So the next thing that makes this mission fun and even easier is that when you clear out these portals, you get even more favors. You can choose between three again. And these only count for this mission, not for the entire conquest. Oh. Okay. Continue scouting that way, that's good. Uh, we're gonna do the same once again. We don't have to kill all of these, it's enough if we kill the one defending the portal. It says here, close all four portals. All you have to do is uh, defend, uh, uh, like defeat the defenders. It says here, defend all defending units. You don't have to actually colonize all the way there. That would be another way to make this mission slightly more challenging, I guess. Oops. Ah. Okay, I think we're just gonna let the watch if tank this one. Confirming this reward. There we go. Uh, we're capped on housing, which is fine. That way we don't grow over our, well, over the place that we can sustain it. Let's see, I mean, there's Valkyrs there, but I think these giants we can kite as well. Let's try that out. It's a bit alarming to see this, but don't worry, you're not gonna, they're not gonna complain that you can't grow, it's just gonna slow you down, but we don't need more population than the ones we have. Okay, this might be a dead end. 
And yeah, these are just as slow, so we're going to do the same as before. Uh, this scout needs to go home because we're starving. I mean, that's what we have the sheep for, I guess. If it's too annoying for you to kite these, just fight them with the Watchief and heal your guys afterwards. It's really not... <laughs> it's not gonna be slower or better or worse. But yeah, it's basically doing it for free like this, so... See no point not doing it like this. Excellent. Okay, we almost have the Monster Slayer as well. Which we're gonna need here, because these Valkyrs are dangerous. But actually, let's just uh, run right in. Kill this one. Might have to clear these ones out so we can uh, properly border kite them. We should make a healer though. Uh, I think the animals is the one that's going to attack us next. Okay. Uh, let's get in position to kite them. Close. Uh, yeah, but this should be pretty free, like this as well. Don't think they can do anything about that, since there's no ranged ones. Okay, that's a bit annoying. them is also not so bad. Okay, as long as we don't let her freeze into the attack animation, we're good. Nice. Uh, free gold? Yes, please. Thank you. Unfortunately, that's only for this mission, because that would be a very tempting bonus to have permanently. Food crisis. Uh, we still have a scout. Is that still needed? We have this portal here. Did we ever find the other one? It must be here then. 
this duck fit here we can kite as well. But I'm pretty sure we're going to be attacked by these animals now. No? Uh, are we, were we going to be attacked from the two that we cleared? Because that's also fine by me. Yeah, stop starving. Okay, doesn't look like we're being attacked. Bit surprised about that. I think this is enough HP. Uh, let's kill these animals, it should be really easy. Yep, that's the last gate, cool. So let's come home. Ah, oh, there's a giant boar there? I didn't remember that one, okay. Uh, it's not gonna be a big problem. Okay, because I think what we can do with the giant boar is we can still do what we do best. Which is kiting them forever and ever. a single one. Giant boar is a bit too fast. Okay, uh, let's clear the other one in the meantime. Oh, they are faster than... not fast enough, apparently. I was gonna say, they look faster than the other enemies we fought before, but they are not scary whatsoever. What do we get for this one? Upgrades, okay. Uh, well... Nothing that actually matters. Let's do a feast, because we can. If you're in a clan that doesn't have ranged units, don't worry, because the mission is still doable. For example, I recently played this on Stoad, and even without making the archers, which are ranged units even, you can just uh, fight them with your normal army. It's really not such a big problem. Let's see if we can get a good circle or something on these guys. Uh, this is not it. Okay, that works. It's a bit of an awkward tile. But yeah, you can just make a normal army, basically. You just fight everything. You can just make warriors also if you want it, and heal them. It's not like we're running out of time or something. Is there a time limit? No. I think the time limit is just them killing the tree, which they never will if you just do it correctly. There we go. That way we can make some more soldiers. Oh, we don't have the gold? Yeah, we do. I was uh, feasting, so maybe we get legendary heroes, but eh, it's not worth waiting for that. We can easily, we easily have enough to win this fight. Just trying to see if we can get a good angle on them somehow. I think what I'll do is Still kind of kite them a bit. Let's get them first over into this corner. Oh, 
Well, that might be the end of her. Nope. Which is apparently not. Um, okay, looks like it's back to the kiting strategy. We also lost one of our extras. Sorry for not saying so much, I'm a little bit focused on this micro. That's also kind of unnecessary, but still also kind of fun. Why do they run so deep? I don't understand. Just making it more dangerous for yourself. Okay, Leaf is almost back ready for battle. <laughs> yeah, let's bring her back. This one is by far the most difficult one because of the sheer number of enemies and the fact you can't really kite them around, like we did with all the other ones before. Oh, I was not fighting with one of the axes all this time. Okay, but that should do it finally, and that wins the mission. Cool, thanks for watching. We got ourselves the free warrior upgrade and going next into the Minopoly. So hope to see you there in the next one.